Good afternoon to all of you. Hope everyone is fit and fine and trying their best against the fight with COVID. I am Mansi Gupta, first year trainee of Diet RK Pulam. As we know that in this pandemic situation, we are not able to go outside. So all of us trying to access information and education with the help of technology. In this regard, our The Learning Rainbow session is putting the steps forward to share some valuable information on use of modern technology. Today we have Ravina with us from first year trainee of Diet RK Puram to present her presentation on topic CCTV. In her achievement, she was a position holder in her 12th class. She got 92% in her 12th board. She loved painting and reading books. She also have interest in art and craft. In terms of profession, she wants to become a successful teacher in her future. Now, I would like to invite Ravina to present her presentation for our viewers. Over to you, Ravina. Thank you, Mansi. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Dai Tarkepuram, who has given us such a platform where we can share our point of view and reach out our viewers. Now, I would like to thank Dr. Dinesh Kumar, Principal Dai Tarkepuram, Coordinator Lakshmi Dagar, ma'am, and Neha Yadav, ma'am, for giving us a chance to fill colors in our dreams by starting the Learning Rainbow program. I welcome you all to this virtual forum. Now, I would like to start my presentation. So my topic is closed circuit television, CCTV. So first of all, let us take a look at the content of our today's discussion. So today we will discuss why we use CCTV, applications of CCTV, CCTV systems block diagram, types of CCTV camera selection, types of CCTV systems, focal length adjustment of lens, video recorders, storage device, cable, camera selection, Elements of CCTV system. Now, what is CCTV? CCTV stands for closed circuit television. Closed circuit television is a system where the circuit in which the video is transmitted is closed and all the elements, camera, display, monitors, recording devices are directly connected. CCTV comprises of camera, wires, monitoring screen, recorder and combination of which is called CCTV. So why we use CCTV? We use CCTV to reduce cost and risk. Now, why means what do we mean by reduce cost? We, for safety, if we hire a, a part, if we hire a safety guard, he will charge a monthly income. Whereas if in place of safety guards, we will use CCTV, it will just have a one fixed cost and it will not have a monthly cost. Okay. Then prevent and deter crime, foolproof coverage, easy to implement, keep your employees. Now, applications of CCTV. Observing behavior of in, in created animates. It means we use CCTV in prisons to keep a check on the prisoners and potentially dangerous patients in medical facilities. Overseeing locations that would be hazardous to a human, for example, highly radioactive or toxic industrial environments. Building and ground security. Recording the inside of a backing oven to find the cause of problems. A temporary system to carry out a traffic survey in a town 
center used by the stage manager of a show to see obscured parts of a set the well publicized use of football stadiums aerial photography for films and control in a factory now this is the cctv systems block diagram now we will see the types of cctv camera selection so there are nine types of cameras first indoor cameras outdoor cameras infrared cameras or night cameras dome cameras bullet cameras hidden cameras pan tilt zoom cameras motion detector and wireless so what are outdoor cameras as the name suggests outdoor camera is used for outdoor places they are mostly for entry and exit points which limited night lighting means these cameras don't have the much lighting that can be used at night these cameras have hard shell vandal proof casings next bullet cameras bullet camera are placed inside bullet shaped housing and they are used in residential places they are small in size have integrated design and waterproof also it is mounted to a wall or any vertical area it comes with a wdr now vandal proof cameras vandal proof camera are used as outdoor security cameras these cameras are sheltered within solid material and covered by a hub of break proof glass which doesn't affect the quality of the video means these cameras are very hard they are they are waterproof they can't they are not breakable it is difficult to break these cameras and this makes them a high security cameras next dome cameras cameras are installed inside a dark dome and are designed in a way that they go unnoticed by visitors These cameras can be rotated and tilted manually. Dome cameras are used in public places like railway stations, bus terminals and other areas where there is a huge gathering of people. Next, PTZ cameras. PTZ stands for pan, tilt and zoom. Now, pan, tilt and zoom those are the movements that camera can do. when somebody is remotely controlling it by using a computer or choke stick most movable cameras allow the person monitoring it to move the camera from right to left up to down and from a tight angle to a wide angle next pan tilt zoom camera offers the ability to view and zoom in all directions means through pan tilt cameras we can take a look of all or over the surrounding we can even set the camera to automatically rotate to different fields of vision but suited for patrol duty and open area application border airport parking lot etc when tour of the premises is required when several angle is required to be viewed from a single camera the cost of this camera is 5 to 10 times more than the normal camera means this camera is very expensive as it has many features it can be rotated in all the directions and at one time it can cover a wide area next night vision cameras as the name suggests these cameras are specially for use at night night vision cameras are used for high alert areas where surveillance needs to happen day and night these cameras are used in military personnel in parking lots and high security zone or where the cctv is required and the light at night is unavailable next indoor camera as the name suggests these cameras are for inside purposes indoor camera as its name suggests used for indoor security mechanism these are suitable for security in homes school offices hotels banks etc 
Next, fish eye cameras. The fish eye camera is a single camera which allows you to record everything with a 180 or 360 degree panoramic view. The strength of this camera can reduce the quantity of cameras needed to cover the same surveillance area. Means with the use of this camera, we can reduce the use of so many cameras as it can record from 180 or 360 degrees panoramic. Next, types of CCTV systems. There are two types of CCTV systems, analog CCTV system and digital or IP CCTV system. Analog CCTV system. Analog security cameras capture an analog video signal and transfer that signal over Cox cable to the digital video recorder or DVR. Each camera may be powered by plugging in the power supply right at the camera or by using RG59. SIMS cable, which bundles the video and the power cables, requires an DVR to capture image. Next, digital or IP CCTV system. IP stands for Internet Protocol and basically refers to a digital video camera that can send and receive data via a computer network. Requires a NVR to capture image. Here, analog CCTV system requires DVR, whereas digital or IP CCTV system requires a NVR to capture image. Next, focal length adjustment of lenses. Focal length can be adjusted by three methods, manually, auto iris or motor zoom manual manual means no cable to be used only indoors and where the lightning condition is always the same auto iris with a cable adjust automatically to allow more or less light to be received by the ccd chip ccd chip in the camera motor zoom with cable and Elementary receiver is needed to be found mostly with bent and tilt systems. The zoom and focus can be manually controlled. Means this motor zoom, motor zoom, this is mostly found in pen tilt systems. Next, types of CCTV lenses. There are two types of lenses, fixed lenses and focal lenses. Fixed lenses. Fixed lenses are those lenses where lens size doesn't change. All we can do is focus. We can't zoom in or zoom out common sizes. The common sizes of fixed lenses are 22 mm, sorry, 12 mm, 8 mm, 6 mm, 4 mm, 3.6 mm, and 2.8 mm. Next, focal lenses. Size can be changed during the installation process and zoom in and zoom out as possible. Common sizes available are 2.5 mm, 3.0 mm, 12 mm, 5.0 mm to 50 mm. Next, video recorders, DVR or NVR. Video recorder is at the heart of the CCTV installation. They receive, manage, store, and record the video captured by the cameras. Video recorders are of two types, as I told you, DVR and NVR. DVR stands for Digital Video Recorder, and NVR stands for Network Video Recorder. Not each DVR or NVR is the same. It comes in four, eight, or 16 channel configurations. Each camera is connected to a channel. So, it is important to buy the DVR or NVR with the right number of channels to support all cameras. DVR or NVRs also vary in terms of recording, speeds, compression storage, and warranty. Next, storage device. Hard disk drive or HDD need to store the CCTV camera footage. It helps to review the CCTV footage. 
नेक्स्ट केबल कोएक्सल और एथरनेट सीसीटीवी कैन बी एनालॉग और आईपी बेस्ड डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट द केबल्स कैन बी कोएक्सल केबल और कैट्स कैट सिक्स आर जे फोर फाइव दीज केबल्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज एथोनेट केबल्स केबल्स कनेक्ट द कैमरा विद डी वी आर और एन वी आर यू कैन ऑल्सो फाइन सिम्स सी सी टी वी केबल्स सिम्स केबल्स कंटेन एंड कोएक्सल केबल दट कनेक्ट द कैमरा टू द डी वी आर एंड एन एटीन गोएज टू कंडक्टर्स पावर दट सप्लाईज पावर टू द कैमरा फ्रॉम द एस एम पीज पावर सप्लाई नेक्स्ट कैमरा सिलेक्शन हाउ वी कैन सिलेक्ट अ कैमरा If we select the camera, we will consider about these categories: indoor or outdoor. Means first of all, we will see we want to buy the camera for using it in for indoor purposes or for outdoor purposes. As I told you, there are different cameras for indoor security and outdoor security. Second, day and night surveillance. Lens selection: How to select a lens? camera form factor video cord motion detection poe poe stands for only for ip or power source wireless or viewing now elements of cctv system so the elements of cctv system are camera lens monitor unit dvr or nvr cable cable can be coaxial or ethernet storage devices dc power supply next is monitor unit the function of monitors is to display video images for viewing the selection of monitors is as important to the quality of the image as the selection of cameras lenses and other components in the imaging chain liquid crystal displays lcds and led displays various sizes and other features considerations for monitor selection so there are two considerations for monitor selection and these are pixels or size so thank you everyone for listening my presentation i hope you enjoyed listening me now for queries i would like to uh, go to mansi over to you mansi Thank you, Ravina, for your presentation. Now, I would like to ask three questions asked by the viewers. Question first is, what is POE? POE. POE stands for Power Over Internet. The latest IP cameras get power over the network. This is known as Power Over Ethernet or POE. Second is, what is IP camera? okay an internet protocol camera or ip camera is a type of digital video camera that receives control data and sends images data via an ip network question third is what does blinding a surveillance camera mean okay blinding a surveillance camera means throwing mud at the cctv camera to obstruct its view obscuring your identity on a cctv camera but not your presence by pointing a laser at the camera lens stopping the camera from actually recording contacting to point the camera in a different direction thank you ravina for addressing these questions and that brings us to the end thank you everyone for your time and attention we will meet soon until then keep learning through the type article thank you